What is up everybody? We're back in the garage for another install video. Okay, today we're gonna be installing a coolant reservoir. Now here's why. It's gonna look good. But another thing is that I had installed a windshield washer relocation kit from the same company in the NB or in Desiree's car. And I really, really liked it. And I figured, you know what? Why not clean up the engine bay? Because that's about the only, f yeah, that's like the only other factory thing that's in this car. And it kind of drives me up the wall. It's looking old. So I figured why not install the coolant reservoir? Now my NA, if for those of you who don't know, if you're here for this video, is a complete track car. It is not. I mean, it's streetable, but it doesn't have the same things that your car might have. For instance, like there's going to be charcoal canisters here. There's going to be a bunch of stuff here. I don't have any of that. So this is going to be a pretty simple install for the most part. But basically what you're going to wind up having to do is get anything out of the way here that's going to get give you access to these bolts. So move all that stuff out of the way and then it'll give you access to the bolts you need to do this. So let's get that started. Let's unbox this thing. Here is the reservoir. Looks like you get some new lines with it and stickers because everybody needs stickers. So, move this out of the way. Set that aside. Set that aside. Set that aside. Set that aside. And let's unwrap this. Oh, I love this stuff. There she is, a little viewing hole so you can see everything. Nice and flexible, that way you can see the level of coolant. There it is. Looking good, the welds are nice. So their stuff is just, I don't know, I fell in love with their stuff as soon as I put the coolant reservoir relocation kit on the ND. And there we go, so let's get this installed. So before we put this in, we have to do a little bit of uh, hardware install. Um, as you can see, you get this 90 degree bend in these containers here. Uh, you get this little 90 degree bend and you also get, where did it go? A straight bend here. So what I'm gonna do is this is the top half. Like, it'll go in like this on the left side. So I'm gonna basically flip this over gently onto this rubber hose here and install the 90 degree fitting. That way when this is in the car, I can rotate it where I want to and run the coolant line or the overflow line into here, or not the overflow line, the intake line to there. And then this, I'm just gonna put on this side here. Let me get this tightened down. Let me install this fitting back here and then we'll take the old one off. Okay, now that we got that installed, um, I'm gonna take the old one off and then we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two and then kind of explain the benefits of this and versus the old one. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the old coolant reservoir. We'll start by basically unplugging this line that goes into the top of your radiator, like so. That's out of the way. I can kind of sit there. And then I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench and just loosen this up. So now that we have the old coolant reservoir tank taken out, um, I'm gonna show you a little difference between the two. Besides looking cosmetically better, um, and you're kind of getting rid of a little bunch of stuff, the benefits of having an aluminum composite, I mean, this is ink coated, this is all sorts of protected, is it's gonna last longer and it's more resistant to heat versus this. You see these start to get old, they start to just, they get brittle. And then one day you're going down the road and this is cracking, and the coolant you're supposed to have is no longer there, which is gonna cause a bunch of problems. So really the benefit is, is you clean up the engine bay, the circuit sport does a really good job in quality, it looks better, and then you're also gonna have a longer lasting product than you would using the OEM stuff. And certain ones of these aren't clear. So the benefit of that too, is you don't have to pull the cap to see what's in it. You can see the coolant level based off that little side view right here that they, they give you. So. That's nice about it, and it fits right in. It's literally the same three bolts you would take out this, besides adding the little 
90 degree bend there and the fitting to put this hose while well, the hose they provide with you which is new it's another nice thing to you the new hose onto this one so let's get this installed okay so we're going to take the same three bolts that we used to take off the old coolant reservoir and we are going to install the new coolant reservoir all right so we'll get this bolt started here this bolt started here Kind of takes a little bit of moving around. This is where I'm only pre-starting these bolts. That way they'll fit. Put these bolts snug down here. Cool. So once you get that installed, um, as you can see down here, uh, this kind of swivels. You gotta get angled where you need, and you'll take your new hose. And there you have it guys, like, it's literally that simple. I mean, mine is gonna be different because I have a Dave Fab catch can that bolts here too, so I have to get this tucked out of the way for this to fit right here. But for the most part, you're gonna run your line however it fits for your application into the overflow port or the fill port, and that's it. And the nice thing is, you can, like I said, you can see how much coolant you have, if there were coolant in here, super easy. Now you can put a funnel down here because this is deeper. You don't have to worry about that shallow bowl bottom. And this actually holds a little bit more. It's, there's a lot of nice things. It fits flush. I mean, beautifully welded. Everything fits where it should. And I, like I said, I just, I really love their stuff. Not only that, you, if you have aftermarket LEDs or something like that, there's clearance for it. It'll fit. Circuit Sports, love your stuff. I'm glad I got this. So I will probably forever be a customer ever since that coolant reservoir or the windshield washer reservoir I put on the MV. So there you have it guys. Super, super easy install. It was nothing too crazy. Uh, especially if you don't have coolant in it already like I did. If not, you just gotta drain the coolant. And even then you can just literally take the thing, take the whole old coolant assembly off and dump the coolant into us so like and save it. And then when you're done with that, reuse it into that coolant tank reservoir. So super easy install. Literally probably takes like an hour to two hours maybe just getting stuff out of the way. That's just, I think that's max effort or max amount of time. It's three bolts, fits really great, looks great, cleans the engine bay up, which this one's still a mess, but cleans the engine bay up and just kind of gives it that extra longevity that you're going to be looking for down in the future. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of the products I put on today, I'm going to leave a link to the products below. If you're interested in any of the Spike Performance hood vent louvers and fender louvers, let me know. Click the link below. You can order those. If you're in interested in AWR products, go to the AWR store, which I'll leave a link below. And on checkout, use Zetro for a 10% discount. Thank you guys. As always, get out in the garage, have fun, be creative, learn something new, and I'll see you guys at the track. Don't think, just do.